Well, hey there, Mission Control. Uh, just got back from uh, my second run of the year, and uh, it's kind of cool being able to put my old uh, PT gear on from the Air Force and get out there and run again. Uh, but uh, I actually turned 40 this year, and I am so out of shape. And I, I've decided that for the Martian Challenge uh, coming up, I need to be in shape. Hey, you know, I mean, it's a challenge. We, we should, like, do something. So, uh, I'm going to try to set some weight and uh, exercise goals here uh, that are just good, you know, not crazy stuff, but just good. And one of the things I'm thinking, I actually think I want to look up the astronaut, uh, let's see, astronaut physical uh, training test. There we go. Yeah, why not? Just, just for fun. No, I'm not trying to make like a big point or anything, just, just to see what they require and then let's see how close I can get. I mean, I used to be in good shape when I was in the Air Force, right? Uh, but yeah, that was a while ago now. And uh, I was doing really good when I first got out as far as my exercise goes. I got, I got a home gym uh, stuff so I can, uh, should be lifting weights and stuff. But when I'm working full time and, and uh, doing the project full time here, uh, it's difficult to uh, make exercise a priority when there's always something that you need to do. So, um, but you know, no matter how much I say that, every time I exercise, I always feel better afterwards, and it always helps me do better on the project. So you think that mentally I would be like, "Hey, this makes sense. Just work out. It makes you feel better. You get more pro productivity." But uh, yeah, it's one of those things that is very difficult. So anyway, we'll see what these requirements are. All right, well, I just spent like 10, 15 minutes trying to find the astronaut physical fitness test or PFT. And uh, I think I'll probably just end up going with the Air Force PFT or the Navy SEAL PFT, either one of them, uh, as my goal setters. I'll, I'll come back to that. But I actually could not find the uh, PFT requirements for astronaut. I found well, the basic physical requirements, but couldn't actually find the test itself, which is interesting since it's a government organization and all their documents should be available online. Um, but I couldn't. Anyway, that's not the point of today. Today, actually, I'm going to start working on uh, building the remaining three 120 volt boxes. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in and see what that means. Here's the first one. This is what we got to do. So we got to drill all the holes in the bottom here, one on the side, put these two in over here, and then just mount these. Pretty simple. Not, not hugely difficult. Uh, we're going to use our DeWalt drill and hole saw to put the holes in and then just uh, drill everything in and mount it. The hard part comes when we have to build the cables. I've been going for, what is it, uh, it's almost like four hours, and I just got done building everything, so let me show you before we head out to the building. So first, of course, you got the box. Uh, we have, this is signal in one, signal in two, and we have 12 volt power in, which powers the uh, relay that's inside of there. Then we have uh, 120 volt power in, and then we have the lights out, and we have fan out right there. So we got our signal cables, we had to build all these cables, we had to build this wire here. Uh, so they come in, connect into the relay. The relay will have main power coming in here and then it's daisy chained all the way all around. Neutral bus bar here and the ground bus bar here for 120 volt power. There's that one and then we have also for the existing uh, was it the low voltage, the computer box, I guess. We've got the signal one, signal two uh, cables. So RJ45 connector, CAT6 cable, and then just the pinouts there that'll go into the Arduino. We have the power supply, uh, 12 volt. We have to drill that in. And then we have the power supply that connects the two. Oh, and I just realized I have six more cables to build. 
because I totally forgot that I need to build the cables that connect S1 and S2. Luckily, those are just cat cables, so I'm gonna do that real fast. All right, let's try this again. This time, everything's done. So these are the cables that connect this box through the signals to the computer box, and then we have all the stuff inside. We have the power cable, we have the signals for the other side, we have the power for the other side, the DC power, and we got these. So now let's go out and install this thing. That won't work there. All right, so this one I had it in the wrong spot for the way I designed the box, so I had to kind of reset it. I got these network RJ45 connectors off of Amazon. They're really slick for surface mounting stuff like what we're doing here. Very nice stuff. They're a little spendy. They're about seven bucks a pop, but man, oh man, they are convenient. Worth the money. And they're really robust, like they're really tough. Just plugs right in. Just gotta get a 12 volt connector for that. I made that cable or a wire short. And two of the lanes I had, uh, I put the boxes on the other side. So I gotta do a little bit of a splicing in to get all the cable lengths the correct length. But everything else is going pretty smooth. Really like the RJ45 connectors. It was a pretty long and tedious day. Just lots of little things to do. Building those cables really, they kind of suck. Just building cables take a long time. Uh, but I'm really happy. Uh, I got everything up. Uh, a little bit of rewiring to do again because I made the mistake of uh, when I mounted the boxes, I built them all to essentially be right-handed and I mounted some of them left-handed so I had to switch everything back to the way I designed it. Uh, didn't think far enough ahead on that. Uh, Everything's in, looks really good. Got to hook up, uh, hook up the main power to each of the box. We'll do that tomorrow. Uh, and then we get to start putting lighting in. So pretty exciting that we made it this far. Uh, very cool. So thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget that you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian, out.